Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging and Study. Today we are going to see an interesting case that we have got recently in our ultrasound department and that is pelvic congestion syndrome with cystic endometrial hyperplasia. A 45 years old female patient came with chronic lower abdominal pain for more than 6 months and irregular parvaginal bleeding. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here is the longitudinal section of the uterus showing multiple dilated tortuous vessels at the myometrium. Color Doppler shows some vascularity here. The uterus appears bulky. In transverse section, endometrium showing multiple tiny cystic structures within. If you focus laterally, you can see multiple dilated tortuous cystic areas are noted at both adnexal region, especially on the left side. Here is the left side showing dilated veins. The largest vein here shows the diameter more than 4 mm. During Valsalva maneuver, the venous calipers increased. You can see some dilated tortuous myometrial veins and parauterine veins with a diameter of more than 4 mm. So, these dilated parauterine and myometrial veins indicate the pelvic congestion syndrome, which is actually the female counterpart of testicular varicocele. Here in the longitudinal section, you can also see some cystic areas at the central part of the endometrium. The endometrial thickness is increased, uterus is also bulky. This cystic appearance of the endometrium indicates the cystic hyperplasia of the endometrium. Here on the magnified view, we have put the color doppler and you can see some engorged veins. Endometrial cystic appearance is also well visualized now. You can see on color doppler, the endometrium is getting good blood flow, but these cystic areas are void of color, excluding any chance of arteriovenous malformation or any other differential diagnosis. On color doppler, you can see flow within these blood vessels. If you check carefully, you can see the calipers of these veins are getting changed with Valsalva maneuver. The increase in diameter in Valsalva maneuver is seen in pelvic congestion syndrome due to reflux flow. So, is the longitudinal section of the uterus showing a glimpse of cystic appearance of the thickened endometrium in a bulky uterus with prominent myometrial veins. Here on transverse section, the cystic appearance of the thickened endometrium is well visualized. We have measured the uterus and the approximate length is more than 10 cm and the anteroposterior diameter is more than 5.3 cm. Here is the transverse section of the uterus showing the peripheral dilated veins. We have measured the vein and the diameter was more than 4 mm indicating the pelvic congestion syndrome. Here is also a glimpse of the peripheral tortuous veins. The right side also has some prominent veins, but the left side is more affected. 
here's the doppler image showing some peripheral myometrial veins showing color flow this is the adnexal image showing color flow on doppler so in summary we have got bulky uterus the endometrium is thickened with cystic change indicating cystic hyperplasia Multiple dilated tortuous myometrial and parauterine veins are noted. The diameter was more than 4 mm for some of these veins. During Valsalva maneuver, the venous calipers increased. So, the ultimate diagnosis is pelvic congestion syndrome with endometrial cystic hyperplasia. Now, the take home message Pelvic congestion syndrome is the female counterpart of testicular varicocele. It is commonly missed and potentially treatable cause of chronic abdominal pelvic pain in multiparous premenopausal women who typically present with chronic pelvic pain for more than six months. The diagnosis is established by the demonstration of multiple dilated tortuous parauterine veins with a width of more than 4 mm or an ovarian vein diameter greater than 5 to 6 mm. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.